In the last episode, we learned how to make a basic project setup, including our plugin.yml file, our main class with its three methods on load, on enable, and on disable. In this episode, we're going to learn how we can let IntelliJ automatically generate all this plugin setup for ourselves, including pom.xml, plugin.yml, and our main class. So for that, go into IntelliJ, file settings, and we're going to install a plugin for that. That plugin is called Minecraft Development. This one right here, click on install and then restart IntelliJ. After you have installed this plugin, you can now easily create new projects by clicking new project and selecting Minecraft right here. Give it a title, for example, episode three. We're not going to make a mod, we're going to make a plugin, bucket, paper plugin, select the version, we're going to choose the latest, which is 1.19.4. And then you give your plugin a name right here. You can choose the main class. And here are some optional settings that will be automatically included in the plugin.yml. You can give your plugin description and to the authors right here. If you have a website, you can also write it here. And I'm going to leave the other stuff as empty for now. As the build system, we are going to choose Maven, just as in the last episode. And for the plugin version, I'm going to leave it at 1.0. Make sure that the right Java version is selected. I'm going to use Java 17 and click on Create. And now, as you can see, the plugin automatically created the pom.xml for us, included the paper dependencies, created the plugin.yml with the name, version, main class, API version, authors, and website. The plugin also created the main class for us. It automatically extended the Java plugin and generated on enable and on disable methods. For example, when we want to output a message to the console, just as last episode, we can do that by get logger info. This is an info message. And exporting the plugin also works the same. So go to the Maven tab, click on your project, lifecycle and package. And now the plugin file has been exported to the target folder. This run right here. And now you simply drag and drop the generated jar file into the plugins folder of the server. Start the server. And as you can see, everything worked. And with this IntelliJ extension, we will create all of our later plugins. In the next episode, we're going to learn what listeners are and how we can use them to listen for events that happen in the game, such as when a player joins, sneaks, or something else.